Uh, I'm gonna do something at the beginning here. I'm gonna actually make a video live, if that makes sense. This video is brought to you by Sinai Esports Professional Coaching with support of awesome viewers like you. For details on coaching, the community, and otherwise to support the channel, please check out the description down below. And do consider liking and subscribing because that stuff really does help us out. Other than that, hope you enjoy. Uh, a lot of people on YouTube have been requesting that I do a guide on my crosshair settings. Okay, people have been asking on YouTube. Um, that means you guys, viewers, have been asking for my crosshair settings on D.Va. So I'm going to go right into the practice range and I'll just show you what my crosshair is and talk through why I have it the way it is and why I think it's the best crosshair to have for D.Va and other heroes that have spread. So as you can see here, let's just put it out on a, a background so you can kind of see it. it's it's very small. A lot of people watching on their phones um, sometimes think I don't even have a crosshair. But if you're watching on desktop, you can definitely see that I've got these four little crosshair marks that are spread out the uh, little dot in the middle. So I really like this crosshair layout because it lets you, um, so I, I have the little dot so I can tell where the center is, but when I'm up close, I can also tell where the extent of my spread is gonna be. So I am I can see where I can get sloppy to. It gives me, it, without obstructing my vision, it gives me the biggest field of vision possible for where the center of my screen is. Because D.Va's a spread-based shotgun hero, I don't have to be, always pinpoint and you know I, I'm not missing if I'm aiming the center dot off the head so you can still I mean, it gives you a little bit more slop and leeway to play with and it's it, it made it the easiest for me to be able to be accurate because you don't need to be as precise all the time and uh, it also at close range makes it very easy to kind of just line up the head the whole head hit box right inside the uh, the constraints of the crosshair. Okay, so one of the things that people comment about a lot is how, look, now out of mech, all of a sudden I have a completely different crosshair, right? There's no gap. It's just a nice little tight um, cross. And this is great for precision shooting where you don't need to worry about, you have your precision crosshair too when you're out of mech and sniping people with a pistol. So how do you get this? Let's dive into the settings real quick. Uh, so on D.Va specifically, let's we'll scroll down here to Crosshair. The important setting that everyone misses, and it seems obvious to me, but uh, here it is. You need it to have show accuracy. It's this top setting here. I uh, highlight it with, my, with the mouse cursor. Show accuracy has to be on. If you have show accuracy off, then it's just going to be whatever size you set. And it'll be the same crosshair both inside and out of mech. But when you have show accuracy, D.Va has no bloom or recoil on either of her weapons. So either the pistol or her uh, scatter cannons. So when you're in mech, it has it showing the extent of the spread pattern, uh, which is how you get them spread out. And then when you're out of mech and you're shooting with your pistol, it comes down to that nice little tight crosshair uh, for, for long range precision shots. Uh, personally, well, he, here's the setting. So thickness I have set to one for the, uh, the crosshairs and crosshair length is five. Although I think at times I've had it as small as a four. How's that look? Yeah. You know what? I'm putting it back to four. I think I had been playing around between four or five. Either way, it's whatever's comfortable. But for me at the distance, I sit about two and a half feet away from my monitor. Um, sometimes even more because I'll lean back when I'm gaming. Um, that's the smallest it can be where I can still see it, but it's not in the way. So like, unless I'm focusing, I'm not going to see it, but it in the fight, it's out of the way when I, when I need to see what's going on, you, you don't want to obscure your vision basically. Um, center gap is irrelevant because I have show accuracy on opacity, full, 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 and the dot size, uh, I have down to a three. It, again, it's just minimalistic and easy to not be distracted by. Okay. Um, real quick now, talking about sensitivity. I play with a mouse at 3200 DPI. Um, and you may have noticed if you've ever seen my streams, I have actually three mice on my desk here. Uh, so I've got a, a G Pro wireless, not actually using that right now. That is probably the highest quality overall mouse that I have. And then I've got two, um, whoops, two of these here. These are the, uh, the Model O, uh, Glorious Model O very lightweight corded mouse but 
um, I have the model the the O minus and the model O. So the model O I use when I'm playing flick based and precision heroes like McCree or Widow. Uh, but for 99% of my gameplay playing a tracking based hero like Diva, I'm using the model O minus. Now I played a very high sensitivity. Almost the entirety of my gameplay is without lifting my wrist off the table. So I'm using my mouse almost the way I would be using a pen on paper. You know, you think about it like this: if you went to sign your name and or, or write something precisely on a line, you would put your wrist down, and it'd be all fingertips. You're not going to be moving your arm around for that. And I know the predominant wisdom for shooter games is to have a lower sensitivity so you can be more precise and more accurate. Uh, but I really don't believe in that for D.Va, where your effectiveness in a fight is determined by how quickly you can turn around and kind of be helping with everything. It's not necessarily doing damage to everything, uh, but like being able to do a quick 180 to eat a grab or something when you hear an ult voice line go off. So as you can see here, all of my movement is done basically fingertips. So I can go from shooting over here to over here. And if you watch my mouse, doing quick flicks over. So I flick over to here, flick over to here to eat an ult, back to here. It's very quick and you can't do that at lower sensitivities. And at close range is when things are moving extensively like all around you, you got a tracer blinking one side to the other. Being able to do very quick target re, uh, reacquisition in close range is important. So that is my philosophy there. I'm so 3200 DPI with 11 sensitivity in game is absurdly high for a lot of people. But that for me, with my space and setup and what I've trained myself to do, um, is what I am most effective with, at least on Diva, because I do have a slightly different sensitivity for everything else. You might have seen in here, um, my all hero sensitivity is down to 8.5. So that's for anything that's a little bit more precision based. But then, for instance, uh, Reinhardt is back at 11 because again, being able to do quick 180s to to throw your shield up or hit a fire strike on something it can make a difference. So who else do I have uh, 11 on? Uh, I'm pretty sure Farah, Farah is 11, yeah. So things that are a little less precision oriented and you can benefit from big, big flick shots, big, big changes in direction very quickly. Um, I, I play at this much higher sensitivity, so I do everything with fingertip uh, in, in this sort of claw grip um, stance and style. So, uh, I guess talking a little bit more about uh, philosophy on um, how to decide what sensitivity to use, because I can't say that my sensitivity is right for anyone other than me, because it's what I trained with and what I got get comfortable with and what I've been using for many, many years now. Um, really, at the end of the day, it's got to be whatever you're comfortable with. But guiding principle, I was talking about, you know, like if you're writing something precisely, you, you want to be kind of in one or the other camp as far as mouse movement. You either want to be all fingertip and wrist, so all like what I'm doing here and high sensitivity, very minimal arm movement or really no arm movement, or you want to have the space to do entirely arm movement. But if you end up doing something in between where in order to like your sensitivity is kind of in the middle. So you can do some of it with, with fingertip, but then in order to move all you all of a sudden you have to move your arm when you're transitioning between arm and wrist movement, the the potential for error, it's not even the potential for error. It, it, it's harder to coordinate more moving parts. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it's a lot harder. So if you're just starting out, I would recommend picking either one or the other where you're either, you've either got all the space in the world to have a full desk mat and do full arm based movement. That's like, if you're perfectly lined up so that your, your arm is resting straight onto your, uh, onto your desk or play surface. You can do full elbow and shoulder based movement. Um, you either want to be completely on that level where people are routinely using stuff like 800 DPI and four sensitivity in a game. That's, that's a, like their effective DPI. So effective DPI is the sensitivity multiplied by the DPI of your mouse. So in my case, I have 11 times 3,200. Um, 
their effective DPI at 800 times 4 would be, well, a very tiny portion, like one eleventh of uh, my sense, my, my effect of DPI. So I'm like, I'm playing it 11 times more um, sensitivity than, than that. Okay, point being, you want to pick one style, I'd recommend, and, and stick with it and get comfortable with it. And don't be afraid to try different things but at a certain point you gotta you gotta just sort of pick something and try and get used to it so if you're playing more precision based heroes like widow or soldier maybe you have a lower sensitivity and if you're playing stuff that's a lot faster paced up in close quarters um where you're maybe a little bit more um you, you might need to flick around more quickly require targets as things are jumping all over the place and move from one thing to the next i would recommend a little bit higher sensitivity um and trying to avoid a middle ground where you end up doing some wrist, but then sometimes removing your arm. Because right now, if I try to move my arm at all with this, it's impossible. So I, I have it tuned to where everything I do is going to be... Like, I can do a full 180 tracking a tracer that's blinking all the way around me without having to pick up my arm and move my hand. Um, so that's basically it. Crosshair... It, 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 crosshair sensitivity is all preference, all personal preference. Um, but now you know what I use, and if that helps you, that's awesome. And uh, there's there's no right or wrong way to do it. I've seen many, many different uh, crosshair used uh, by D.Va players at all ranks. And uh, this is just what I do and what I like. So uh, use that information how you will. Thank you for watching. Peace.